No one's here, Lancaster Lime Works. I'm going to show you today how to knock up our mortar. First thing you do is put on your coronavirus gloves because the lime will burn you. Evidence right here. The next is put on your safety glasses so it doesn't burn your eyes. Then you open the bucket, pull the strap off, open up the tabs. and then pour the water off the top and save it in another bucket. And what you will discover is a really sandy mixture, which looks very unusable. And if you've ever said a bad word in your life and don't understand that this has to get knocked up, and, do, and follow the instructions here. You just want to throw this away and not use it. Because our lime putty has a very high calcium content, this has to get knocked up, which means you pound it. And that activates, it releases the water and it activates the high calcium content, gets the electrons and the protons moving in here all fat lime mortars were knocked up you many many years ago we're not used to doing this with portland cement now to do this for a whole bucket worth or a little bit at a time for your project would be very very time consuming And of course, wasteful because you can see it's falling off the hawk. But I wanted to show you here, real quick, the transformation that happens before your eyes. I'm not adding any water, but you can see it's becoming more and more creamy. happening here is the 98 plus percent calcium in our lime is getting energized and if you don't do this you just try to use it right out of the bucket you will hate lime mortar you will hate Lancaster Lime Works and never want to use it this is what's called fat lime from many, many years ago. The fat lime indicated that it had a high calcium content. It becomes very, very tenacious and very, very workable. Without the use of any, any water at all, you knock it up, pound it, energize it. When it's ready to use, it'll stick on your hawk. It'll, upside down, it'll stick on all your tools. In fact, it's very hard to even get off your hawk. It sticks so incredibly well. Now, in order to knock up the whole bucket, what I use is one of these egg beater type attachments on a right angle heavy duty drill. When you go to stick it in, it doesn't go because the stuff is so compact when you first get the bucket. So. Start at the top, turn it on, and start mixing. And if you look carefully there, it's already getting softer. Go up and down, work your way to the bottom a little at a time. it will become the most amazing mortar that you've worked with. This is called the knocking up process. Takes a little bit of effort. You work your way all the way to the bottom of the bucket. Now this bucket has been, this bucket has been sitting for about three years. That's why it's so compact. You're 
You're not mixing various ingredients together. The sand is not separated from the lime at all. All you're doing is pounding it and knocking it up, energizing, energizing the calcium. When it's ready to go, tap that, clean it off a little bit. Look at this mortar. Stuff is amazing. Very, very sticky. Very, very easy to use with your tools. With your slicker, it sticks to anything. Now, at the end of the day, you have extra mortar. Or let's say you're just experimenting and want to try it out. The mortar doesn't go bad if it stays covered with water because it's a carbonating type mortar. So you basically pack this down. Pick the bucket up, tamp it. So all the holes are filled in. Make sure you have safety glasses on because it can fly up and hit your nose or your eyes. Take the water that you had poured off and saved, pour it back on. This will be good for another three, four years in the bucket. As long as carbon dioxide does not enter into the mortar, it will be good. Then you put the lid back on it, and it's good for your next session.